well, I debated with myself on if I should even make this video. Because, well, I didn't really read too much this month. Well, this last month, anyway. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, hello everyone. Britton here, also known as Smokey Dude. And today, I am back here with a new video where I will be going over what I read in February. Because I guess I'm a booktuber now, and I uh, can't really be a proper booktuber without uh, doing a what I read in this month. Um, though I, 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 I want to review other things as well. Um, I also review comics and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So, I didn't really read too much this year, and I'm like, well, am I, can I even make a video about this? But then I thought, eh, I think I can crank a 10-minute video out of it. Or at least more. Uh, I bet you're wondering uh, what is up with the new setup. Uh, I got a new computer, so now my uh, now my computer's camera is working. I got it for my birthday because my birthday's tomorrow. You can wish me happy birthday if you want. Um, and I really uh, so yeah. Now I'm I'm gonna be recording off of this from now on. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be talking about books I read in uh, February. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this. Uh, so the first book that I read this month was, or the first book I finished anyway this month was The Pale Blue Eye, which was recently turned into a movie from, uh, underrated director in my opinion, uh, Scott Cooper. And this book is about a detective by the name of, uh, Augustus Landor. He gets called up to, uh, because someone has been, there have been these strange things going on. There have been people taking hearts out of dead cadets' chests, and... Um, this book, um, this book, or er, he ends up getting the help of a particular candidate by the name of Edgar Allan Poe. Now, I was attracted to this book because I'm a huge Poe fan, and I wanted to see what someone else would do with the character of Edgar Allan Poe. But I was quite surprised, despite some of my, despite the few issues I did have, mainly that. Uh, sometimes the narrative voice was a bit too wry for my taste. It, it got a little, got a little cutesy with the with the archaic language from time to time. But uh, I really enjoyed the fact that he, uh, I really enjoyed the character draw in this book, and I also really enjoyed the mystery. It was actually very compelling. Um, Edgar Allan Poe is really entertaining. He is a show stealer in this book. Um, uh, he is not just a angsty goth kid like he is in South Park. Uh, now he feels like a human being. He's a bit rebellious. He's very vigorous. He's filled with life. And um, I don't want to get like too reviewy on this, but I really enjoyed this. It's very well written. Uh, the ending is surprisingly heartbreaking. I won't get into what happens, but I really enjoyed this book, and I do want to see more of what Louis Bayard does. I want to particularly get his book, uh, Mr. Timothy, because um, that takes place in the same world as A Christmas Carol, and it's about a grown-up. Uh, Tiny Tim. I'm a big Charles Dickens fan, so I definitely want to check that book out when I find the chance. Um, but this was a really good book, and I highly recommend you guys read it. Uh, I bet you're wondering what I thought of the movie. I, I did see it, and um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a very strong film. A uh, very strong adaptation of this. Uh, Christian Bale's in it. He's fantastic. I mean, you know, what, what else are you going to say? Uh, he's a great actor. You know, there's not really much else to say about that. But... Um, he's great in it. He, he really does well. He brings a lot of pathos to the role. Uh, Henry Melling, you might know him as Dudley, though he's quite thinned out now. He was fantastic as, as uh, Edgar Allan Poe. He creepily looked a lot like him. Like, you, you can look up photos and compare them. It's, it's really freaky. They both look very much alike, and he is very strong in the role. And um, it's also very well directed. I really like the cinematography. It's very atmospheric. Um, I thought it was a solid movie. I wouldn't say it's one of the best films I've seen this year, but uh, I, I enjoyed watching it. So, yeah. Um, next book I'm going to be covering is uh, Homicide from David Simon. This is a uh, nonfiction book. This is the book that basically made his name out in the States. Uh, he wrote this uh, long before he would be known as the co-creator of The Wire. He even mentions his co-creator Ed Burns in this book. Um, this would eventually become a TV show as well called uh, Homicide A Year on the Streets. Uh, I have not seen it. I have heard it's good. Uh, I'm kind of wary of Law & Order-like shows, but I've had friends who are like, it's totally not Law & Order. 
So, yeah. And it sucks that Richard Belzer died the same time that I was finishing this book up. Uh, he played one of the more infamous characters on the show. They, they actually show him in here. Hold on, let me find it. Um, let me see. There he is. Um, there he is. Yeah, uh, he recently passed away, and uh, I actually started this at the beginning of the year, and it took me until now to finish it, so that tells you all to need to know. This was a war of attrition. It's not because it's particularly dense or hard to read. It's just there's a lot of information, and the chapters are stupid long. I had to put this book down and consider what I had just read before going into it because it, it, it was a lot but I enjoyed um, I enjoyed this book I thought that David Simon did a really good job uh, exploring the homicide detectives in their lives uh, there's a lot of dark humor in this as well which is quite nice it, it's not just a bleak and depressing book uh, this is a very non-romantic book it's not about super cops uh, tracking down master criminals it's really just people catching other people either by luck or by genuine skill and also a lot of the criminals in this are really stupid so and it, there's a lot of uh similar themes in this book that you would find eventually in the wire about how institutions are failing people and how it prevents people from actually making genuine changes in the world but again i don't really want to get too much into it i also really like how simon explains the slang of everybody without uh, stooping to dumbing it down for the audience. I, I thought that was really nice. Um, it's a uh, it's a really good book. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it is not for the faint of heart. Um, there is a lot of dark shit in this, and there's also the fact that um, it's uh, it's very it's very long, and it's also dense at points. It. I also read this because. Uh, my trade is as a journalist. I work as a journalist in, um, at my college. So, yeah, this book was sort of a pointer for me to um, to write. And this is a really well-written book, too. Um, it's a really great piece of journalism, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Uh, this is good enough. It, it could have been a novel if, if he had really wanted to. But, uh, yeah, Homicide Year on the Killing Streets was very good. I do hope to put a review up of this at some point. Um, I'm definitely planning on it. There are not as many reviews of this book on here, uh, so I'm definitely going to cover it at some point. So, yeah, I'm going to put this down now. Um, yeah. Uh, the final thing that I, I started reading, I'm in the middle of it right now, it is uh, Pluto from Naoki Arasawa which uh, shows you just uh, <laughs> shows you that I am just as much of a whore as some of the other uh, booktubers out there right now because it seems like all of them really love manga. Now, I don't read a lot of manga. I don't have anything against manga or anything. I just don't read a lot of it. There are some manga that I enjoy. Uh, Berserk comes to mind. I have read it. Uh, I've read a good chunk of it. I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, I have read Death Note. I have also read Monster, who is from Naoki Arasawa as well. It was actually my favorite comic of last year that I read, uh, so to let you know. And now I am on to Pluto from the same author. I decided to check this book out because, um, well, for one, it's a lot shorter than Monster. So I decided, okay, this, this story will go by a lot more quickly, and um, I, I, you know... It's, it's, it's good stuff. Um, it is no less gripping than Monster is, despite its shorter length. It is much tighter, but that does not make it less compelling or as interesting as Monster was. And I really loved how Naoki Urasawa gave just as much time to the side characters as he did to the main ones in, in Monster. And um, it's no different in Pluto. There, there's one character in the very beginning. Uh, if you've read the series, you know who I'm talking about. But there's, his story was just powerful, great stuff, and I uh, really enjoyed. Uh, I've really enjoyed reading Pluto so far. Though I will say, I do prefer Monster more at the moment. It could change. I do hope to complete Pluto either this month or next couple of months, because um, I I, I kind of like to hold back. I don't want it to end, you know. 
and um, yeah, I really enjoyed. Um, I've really enjoyed Pluto so far, and I'm really excited to talk about it. Um, I I hope to have uh, a, a review up of some of these books at some time. Hopefully, I'll get a review up of Monster at some time because that's there's a lot to talk about with that series, though. So maybe that's one I'll have to talk about with somebody else because it's just it is massive. That that's just you know. And again, I don't read a lot of manga, but I really enjoy Urasawa's style. I love how his I love his art. I, I, I wish it was in color, and it is in color a little bit in Pluto, but not all of it. Uh, you can't always get what you want, sadly. But um, I did appreciate that he did put some colored art, because I think it would look really nice. I really enjoy how his people look real. They don't look exaggerated. They're just... They all look like regular people. There's none of those stupid, buggy eyes that you see in anime and manga all the time. And I know that's a thing, and it's funny, because this book is adapting from Astro Boy, which kind of popularized the big eyes that you see in a lot of anime and manga. Like, you know, uh, Azamu Tezuka, I think is his name. Um, he is basically like the Stan Lee, Walt Disney of Japan, pretty much. And he popularized all that, so... Fucking thanks, by the way. But this is a adaptation of an Astro Boy story, and it's about uh, a robot serial killer going around and a robot detective attempting to track it down. Uh, it is very gripping, suspenseful, uh, the characters are very engaging, and the ideas that it plays with are really interesting. Um, very much the Blade Runner, are these robots becoming more human? What makes us human? What constitutes a soul? All that fun stuff. I'll, I'll talk more about it once I complete it and make a, a proper review of it. But I am enjoying Pluto. There is a lot to talk about with Pluto, and I do hope to complete it soon. I am going on spring break this next week, so uh, maybe I'll complete it then. We'll, we'll see. But, um, yeah, it, it's also very quick. He, you know, Urasawa likes to keep it moving, and uh, he really knows how to play with the comics form. And um, he's just a great storyteller, he's a great artist, and I hope to read more from him at some point. I'm definitely planning to read 20th Century Boys. I bet my friend Tide will be very pleased to hear about that once I uh, get into that. I've heard that series is fucking nuts. Uh, but again, feel free to tell me what you think of 20th Century Boys down in the comment section below. But, um, yeah, that's basically all I got for right now. That's basically all I read for this month. There are some books I started... But I am only counting, but remember, I am only counting stuff that I completed this month. I am not counting anything that I started this month. So, just so you know. I could bring up the Vore, which I'm reading right now, but, um, I only started it this month. I did not, or I only start. I started it last month. I didn't start it this month. I keep getting the two mixed up. But, um, yeah, so that's it for now. Um, I'm going to be 22 tomorrow. It's nuts. Uh, so if you want to wish me a happy birthday in the comment section below, feel free. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been Britton. Uh, check out my Twitter, uh, my Goodreads, my Letterboxd. I review stuff on there. They probably sound much more coherent than what I'm talking right now. You can check out my Discord. Come talk to me. Uh, it's a little dry over there at the moment, so uh, please give me some of those. Uh, please come and talk to me. That, I would appreciate that quite a bit. But, uh, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys at another point. See you guys later.